Good afternoon, good afternoon. It is now after the six o'clock hour on this Tuesday evening. I know I've been putting videos on TikTok all day today. Um, and so I just want to share a word of encouragement. And this is, of course, for the body of Christ. Um, I remember a couple, oh, I think it was either last year I had made a podcast called Judge to be Judged. Um, and this video is kind of sort of pertaining towards that podcast. So let me read a scripture for you real quick. Go with me to the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 37. I'm going to be reading, reading out of the English Standard Version. And this book basically says Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. But I don't want to focus on the forgive verse. I want to focus on judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. I want to focus on those two, those verses right there. And... I want to say this. Were we not born in sin? Were we not born in sin on our way to hell? But were we not bought at a price or at a cost? We have a bunch of form of godliness religious Christians in this world today who are quick to judge someone's character, someone's lifestyle, quick to judge. And I know the Bible says judge righteously. I know that. But I'm talking to someone who is, I'm talking about pastors that judge someone who is just now coming into the church and are trying to get their spirit and their soul right with the Lord. Remember in the podcast, if you didn't go listen to it on yesterday, God is sending people back to the church that does not look like you or me, does not walk like you or me, does not talk the same talk as you, as you and me. He's sending different walks of life back. We have no right to judge. We have no right to condemn. Because we are all God's children. Whether you are a Satanist, whether you are a Buddhist, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are an atheist, whether you are a prostitute, whether you are a homosexual, a lesbian, it doesn't matter what lifestyle you are living or what religion you are in, whether you are a fornicator, um, 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 an adulterer, it doesn't matter. We are all God's children. Why? Because we were all made in the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. We're not put on this earth to condemn the world. I remember listening to a prophetess saying, that the word is already condemned for those that choose to reject the word of God. The word is already condemned. We're placed on this earth as vessels of God to encourage the truth, to preach the truth. And not to just do that, but to show the love of Jesus Christ. That God loves you, that God wants you. You may think that there is no purpose and plan for your life but God has a purpose and plan for your life according to Jeremiah 29 and 11 but yet we have preachers that are so judgmental so self-righteous and it makes no sense and it is annoying and aggravating you think you're better you think you're holier than thou. And trust me, I'm only telling you this because I've been there. I used to be a self-righteous person. 
I thought I was holding him down. In my eyes, I thought everybody was going to hell except for me. But God had to wake me up and say, you sin too. You got some stuff in your closet too. You can't condemn nobody. We have to wake up out of that mindset of judging people, of condemning people. Everybody has a right to know who their father in heaven is. Everybody has a right to get saved and get filled with the Holy Spirit. Because none of us, before we got saved, we were all in sin. And then there's some of us that are in the church. We are still yet living in sin behind closed doors. We want to act holy. We want to act righteous. We don't want to sit down because we're so focused on our titles. We don't know how to operate in our titles. And we're so judgmental. So judgmental. Instead of praying, we want to judge. Instead of lifting, we want to condemn. Instead of building each other up, we want to persecute each other. We sit here and talk about Satanists. We sit here and talk about Buddhists. We talk, we talk about atheists. We talk about all of these other religious beliefs. Christian, Christianity, not Christianity, but Christians are the most hypocritical, self-righteous form of godliness and got no fruits of the spirit type of people. And I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about me, myself, and I, and others. The Lord had to remind me in the bathroom today that I have no right to be putting my mouth on anybody, that I have no right to be sitting here judging and condemning anybody because I'm also living in sin. And I had to tell God, God, I got to repent. And I was like, Father, I'm not putting my mouth on nobody else and I'm not saying nothing else about anything. We sit here and we talk about pastors having sex with people. And their videos are online. And they're preaching against something. But then there are others, there are other of uh, other of us, and y'all know what I'm saying, that are doing the exact same thing. We're preaching against something that we're doing in secret. And I told God, I said, God, from now on, I'm not going to preach about nothing that I so-called am against, that you are sincerely against, and I'm living it behind closed doors because that makes me a hypocrite. And a lot of us are hypocrites because we sit here, we sound good, we preach good. We will preach something down that God is against. But behind closed doors, we are doing the same thing. Come back into the pulpit. We're so judgmental. And boy, do we walk in condemnation. We are so quick to condemn someone. So quick to judge someone. Forgetting. Of what we are doing. I tell you, if God was to expose some of these leaders, I tell you. I tell you, you'll be amazed and shocked at what they're doing behind closed doors. And not just the leaders, but the members. I tell you, get that self-righteous spirit under control. Get that form of godliness spirit under control. Cast out that spirit of condemnation because you know what the Bible says about condemnation. Because God is sending them. And it is our job to love them. It is our job to point them to the cross and to the rock that is greater than ourselves. It's time for us to show them love. The love of God. The agape love. Stop sleeping with the members. And the newcomers. Don't turn them away. Because I tell you. That's some of the reasons why a lot of us Christian folks ain't going to heaven. I, 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 I believe in my heart that there are more Christians going to hell than heaven. Because of the way we are and the way we think. 
and the words that we speak and say and how we treat people and how we do people. And we got no fruit, no fruit. No Galatians 5, 22 and 23. No fruit. But we sitting here singing about heaven. Singing about heaven. Oh, what a joy it will be. And for some people, it won't be. A, for some people, it won't be a joy. For some people, there won't be a joy. Stop judging. Stop condemning. Stop being so religious and so tra traditional. If we're going to be for God, be for God. If we're going to be for Baal, be for Baal. But my confession is I don't care. Nothing will ever stop me from loving God. No demons, no witches, no warlocks, no angels, no principalities. I don't care what I go through. I don't care what I put this vessel through, this person through. As for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. And that's basically all I got to say. Y'all be blessed. Love y'all. Just wanted to come on here and encourage you all and share that with you because it was on my heart. Because I was in a conversation with somebody concerning this topic. And it needs to be talked about. It needs to be talked about. Because people just won't get it through their head. They won't. But y'all be blessed.